guys how's it going so today we are going to be doing an updated belt kit and small backpack loadout video we done a belt kit loadout video probably just a couple weeks ago but since then i listened to some of y'all's feedback and since i've got some pretty cool new gear that makes us a lot more comfortable and really kind of expands the capabilities of what you could use a loadout like this for Rather it be a single day scout, like an overnight day scout or a multi-day day scout. This could potentially be used in a, as like a get home type of loadout. Or just going out for, you know, camping, bushcrafting, whatever the case may be. So, we're going to not waste time on that and jump right into it. Because this is also going to be, help me kill two birds with one stone. Because we're all going to be spending the night here. But that will be a separate video. And before we get it out on the ground, the two biggest comfort upgrades is primarily the belt. This is from One Thief Surplus, same place that the sustainment pouch come from. But then also we're, we got the same pack with the addition of this Volkloss 2.0, the newest uh, pack frame airflow system. I used their original for quite a bit last year. They just have come out with this one. It's a bit different. I'll give you a look at that once we get this uh, gear on the ground. Okay, so right here we still have our Able Carry backpack that has stayed the same on the bottom. We have our Freedom Soldiers poncho with the MODL straps on here, one around the center uh, to hold the tarp together, and then two right here run through the tiny support loops on the bottom of this pack. That's overkill for mounting this. That's just also to have these MODL straps uh, available to use for just a variety of tasks. Now this pack is rainproof. Uh, the only one thing that's changed from last time is we do have an ultralight tarp in here now. So this is our only piece of rain gear so we can take and throw that over us and we'll be able to cover our pack and our gear. Oh, here on the side, we still just have our cubic titanium trail. opening up this pack the zipper stops right there above that side pocket where our trowel is and then goes down the length of the bag so you can really open this compartment up if you need to right here at the top of this zippered pocket we have three bravo sierra body wipes for either cleaning yourself or your gear primarily yourself this time of year you're going to be getting really sweaty and disgusting feeling uh, I have a hoodie because now it's been a few weeks. We are not too far from fall getting here. Looking at the forecast, some of the nights uh, are going to start dipping in to around 54, 55 degrees. So something like this could come in handy. Here is our zipper pouch where we have the Sharpal knife sharpener. Coast headlamp, sewing kit with one of the alligator clips stuck to it, the alligator eyes, these are just like trail markers. I have a random spare ferro rod in there, large power bank, and the county comms titanium vault, which has a medication in it such as like Benadryl, ibuprofen, I got some hydroxamine in there, and some anti-diarrhea medication. Because you never know. Because last time with our loadout, I had tons of room left, and it's not about, you know, just trying to cram as much as you can into the bag. You still want it to be light, and it's still very light, but there was a couple small things uh, that there really was no reason not to go ahead and you know add in this kit for the added convenience or just the added functionality As far as comfort, this is just a gear doctor inflatable pillow not necessary, but nice to have Here we got a UCO if you'll focus a UCO Lantern whenever it's collapsed down. It can be a flashlight whenever it's open it is a very bright LED lantern that you can dim. It's just nice to hang around if you're, you know, for the purpose of camping. We do have our IFAC on our belt, but for minor things, 
you know, cuts, scrapes, uh, blisters, bee stings, bug bites. This is the My Medic uh, Hiker Medic. This come in the Nomadic, one of the Nomadic boxes that I got, like one of the Nomadic subscription boxes. If you want to freeze, right there is everything that is in it. If you want to pause the video. But there's also some other nifty backups that are in there. Now, since we're not using the poncho as our cover element, I did not have this yet. But this is... A VM Outdoors Ultralight Tarp. We've already used this one. This is the smaller of the two that I have now. I was really impressed with the performance of it uh, in like the thunderstorm camp that we did with it. Uh, and like with this being the small one, it's light, but it's still a very, very large tarp. And it just slides right down into the bag. This right here is our fuel flask for our alcohol stove. Here is our flex tail pump, you know, not necessary, but it really helps, you know, just speed up the process of inflating the sleeping pad. And then you ain't got to worry about passing out from blowing the thing up by mouth. Still rocking with the Silver Ant titanium uh, tent pegs, you know, lightweight. Uh, these things right here will not come out of the ground if you don't want them to, if we'll focus. And then I also have some of those roller cam buckles in here, and those are not lightweight. It probably counteracts uh, the fact that the stakes are titanium. But those come in really handy with paracord. In this back section here, this is kind of just with the idea of having, you know, a nice heavy overnight scout. We got some Ready Wise creamy pasta and chicken, and then for breakfast or just for a dessert, we got apple cinnamon cereal. Uh, but like this stuff comes from MRE Mountain, and there will be links to all this stuff down in the description box. This is a camp craft, <clears throat> a camp craft outdoor sitting pad. I believe it's three feet by three feet wax canvas. I've treated this with permethrin so insects don't get on it. Use it as a sitting pad, a kneeling pad. If you got a hammock, you can use it to take set your feet on whenever you get out of the hammock, or to keep gear off the ground. And we'll do, we'll probably use that for that purpose here in a second. Here is our Gear Doctor sleeping pad. Been using this thing for over a year. I'm really surprised that it still holds air as well as it does, especially for the price point. Um, but that thing will slide right into our bivy bag. And now that takes us over to our bivy bag, which is the Highlander Hawk Bivy. Got this from Military First. This is a European company. <clears throat> MilitaryFirst.com is hands down the best place to get overseas gear here in the United States. I highly suggest you guys go check it out. I mean, if anything, just for window shopping because it's there's a lot of cool stuff. Um, and that some of those companies have, you know, some pretty innovative pieces of gear and things that, like, so far I've not seen companies in the United States have. But that is everything that is in our able carry backpacks. I'm gonna pack this stuff back up and we're gonna hop into the belt loadout. So since we got this belt kit here now, I've took some of the stuff that I was carrying in the pockets of my pants and put in to this Jupiter tactical pouch right here, along with taking some of the items out of this sustainment pouch and putting into here for, so, so that I'd have easier access. So starting off, if we unclip this, I have a new multi-tool. Um, if you guys watched the last video where we done our wall tent camp, y'all seen those fairy string lights. Uh, I got those from cool, coolgadgets.com, and this also come from coolgadgets.com. I've not got to really test this multi-tool out yet, but it will definitely get put through the paces for sure, and it feels really solid. Let's go ahead and clip that back. I have a different flashlight than I was carrying last time. This is a flashlight I've had for a hot minute. This is the Cyan Sky P26. And since I am using the pouch instead of my pocket, uh, you know, it's more than comfortable to carry this bad boy. Waterproof, very large battery, long run time, especially on the lower light. Oh. Especially on, you know, dimmer light modes, which is what I tend to use around camp. And you also have a strobe feature, just like the other one. Flashlight's just a little bit more robust. This right here is my Volcan bolt-action titanium pin. It's 
got a nice pointy glass breaker on the top. This thing is really fun just to uh, kind of play around with. But to go along with it on this front zippered pouch, I have a Field Notes notepad because also in this pocket is, is my Sun 2 compass. Where I'm at now and what I, uh, like where I came to today, we've been before, so definitely didn't need to utilize that, but we will be doing some stuff once it gets uh, a lot cooler, where this will actually be getting used a good bit. Then in the back zippered pocket of this pouch, first and foremost, these are something I don't think I've showed you guys in a video yet. But I've been eating these, and these things are absolutely amazing. They're called Range Meal Bars. There's 700 calories per bar. So you could take three of these and, you know, have a solid day's worth of calories. Now, you know, obviously, if you're moving a lot, you need more calories. But in a survival situation, as dense as these things are, and they actually taste good, um, really recommend you guys trying them. Uh, this right here kind of reminds me, not in flavor, but in concept of pemmican, because you have like a really condensed source of calories, protein, fats, all that good old stuff. So we got one of those in there. We have a tube of lemon lime energy gel out of an MRE. And then finally, I have two packets of Wild Fit. This stuff right here is not a drink mix. It's something you just take and pour directly into your mouth to give you a nice uh, jolt. Helps boost uh, your focus. But this also has a custom blend that is supposed to help promote calmness. So, you know, you won't be jittery. And that is everything that is in this pouch that sits on our left hand side if you've seen the first belt kit video we had just our titanium water bottle and then we had a 750 milliliter pot inside our bag now there was no pot in the bag and that's because we have our volt can <clears throat> our volt can titanium canteen mess kit so we got the canteen then I, like i'm not going to get it out because i've used this thing a million times and we'll be getting it out uh in the video that we're going to be the overnighter that we're going to be doing later but it's got a 750 milliliter canteen cup it's got a lid and it's got a 400 milliliter canteen cup and I've, i mean i've just used this thing to death it's really all one person needs for a cook set and a way to carry water in the front is the wire hangers to hang up the canteen cup you can use it uh, as a pot uh, and then i've got things to clean the stuff with go over here now right there is my mimetic eye fact we had it inside the backpack last time but i mean it really does make more sense to uh, just carry it on the belt itself and there was plenty of room after i reconfigured uh, the pouches how i carried them and all that good old stuff now right here is our volcan <clears throat> titanium water bottle that we had in the original setup except uh, they finally come out with their pouch because the pouch that the Volcan canteen is in uh, that came with it um, at first when this bottle first came out these pouches wasn't available yet they hadn't uh, you know finished production but now we got them and this pouch has two pockets on the exterior so in this pocket right here got some caffeine gum got two pouches of lmnt or element i believe is what they how they pronounce it electrolyte drink mixes and then i have got three packs of the banana bag oral solution i drink pretty much at least one of these a day uh, during the summer as you that's like the stuff that it's got in it if you want to freeze but yeah, vitamins, electrolytes, glucose, uh, tons of much needed things when you're doing nothing but moving around and sweating to death. Helps you make the most of the water that you take in. And then on this side, it's a perfect fit with a room to spare for a Sawyer water filter. And then I've just got an extra long hose. 
so I could take and fill up these canteens, dip the, just like, dump the filter down in there, drink through the straw. I could take and put this directly into the water source, even if it's, you know, out in front of me a bit. And we're in business. Now, finally, we are at our rear sustainment pouch or butt pouch, whatever you want to call it. So I try to keep near the top this quick camo bug head net. Makes a world of difference when you're sitting around, uh, you know, you're stationary. If you don't have any type of bug repellent, just to throw this over your head, it keeps insects from getting in your ears and your nose. This right here is our titanium tin at the top because there was room. We've got some AquaTab water purification tablets, enough to purify a very good bit of water. Then we have an atomic bear ferro rod and fire plugs. And then the ferro rod also has a whistle on it. Got a roll of jute twine. A pack of outdoor combat wipes. These are biodegradable, so you know if you use these for doing your business, you can take and bury these in the hole and not pee off Mother Nature. Here is our cubic alcohol stove. I've got it in here and not in the backpack with the fuel itself just because this is extremely light. Uh, you don't even know it's in there. Oh, and then one thing I did want to mention too, going with kind of the idea of if we lost our backpack because we set it down, uh, just for whatever reason you got separated from the backpack, this kit right here could pretty much uh, be its like own standalone deal. Uh, we've got fire, we've got all of our water, we've got the flashlight, we've got our compass, we've got an IFAC. You know, that's good. But in terms of shelter, here I have an SOL Escape Bivy. This thing right here is really cool because I took it out and slept in it indoors, or well, for a little bit, and then it got too hot. But unlike most of the Mylar type blankets that are like, you know, one time use and then they're done, that are easy to tear, easy to rip, this thing is uh, able to be repacked. I've unpacked and repacked this thing three times now, uh, and it's fine. I've just done that one like like use test, but I've uh, took it out just to show people, take some pictures, that type of thing. And tonight, since we just have that hoodie, which will probably be too much, if we end up needing any warmth, because it's supposed to get down to 58, which inside that hawk bivy, we're not gonna need anything tonight. But this will be good as a standalone. If you didn't have nothing else, you could take and sleep in this and take and cinch it down and then put this bug head net on and that would keep 98 percent of anything any creepy crawlies from getting to you and this would help keep you warm then right here is a new uh Vulcan spork that i recently added to the kit i like that it's got this like large area up top here it's kind of nice whenever you're reaching down stirring you know any of those meals it kind of helps you hold on to the spork Here I've got, I can't remember if this is 50 feet or 100 feet, I think it's 50 feet, of 550 paracord with a Night Eyes cam clip. Still trying to decide on which tarp shelter I am going to uh, use, but the one that I'm thinking about using, this is perfect for, and you'll see why in that video. Here is just the MRE beverage bag. If I didn't want to dirty up any of my cups and drink one of my electrolyte drinks, then I could take and use this as a standalone bag, use it to collect water, purify water, all that jazz. Here is another one of those meal bars. So like just with the food that we got in this kit, you know, food's not a huge survival deal. You can go a long time without food, yada, yada, yada but you're gonna want food. I like food all the time. So uh, with that being said, you could take and just one of these meal bars a day uh, would keep you going on top of that ready wise meal that we got. So that's, I would say you could comfortably go three days with uh, that type of sustainment. Got the same Shimag at the bottom, a million uses right now. It's uh, serving the purpose of being a sweat towel and then a very thick pair <clears throat> a very thick pair of socks to sleep in and that is everything 
that is in the sustainment pouch and our belt kit. Okay, so finally we'll make this real quick because it's the same thing, the stuff that I got on my person. Uh, the only thing that's really new is these Titan Survival uh, and or Tacoma leather gloves. Really like these. These are good for, you know, dealing with things around the fire. I've not really been having fires because it's been hot and humid. But uh, in terms of like boiling water for my meals or dealing with anything hot and then just messing around brushing wood. I mean, as you can see, I've already used these a good bit. So we'll see how they hold up over time. To clip those right there. We're good to go. Got the Glock 17 always with us in the cargo pocket. Ferro rod. I'm try not to drop those ferro rod with the fire plugs, and I'll still drop them. Now then, over here we have a cutting tool. Now in the last, in, in the original setup, we had our Holtzman uh, large survival knife, and that knife is amazing. It's a great chopper, great for batoning does it all has a ferro rod on it but then I, deci I decided i wanted something larger especially when we still have all this greenery around this is a odin wolf machete this is their one of their newest uh knives and i think the only like machete that they got and in terms of machetes it's on the shorter end but this thing has a very thick solid blade i've got it razor sharp the spine is good enough to throw sparks and that's something some people are just obsessed with very well balanced i mean coming in this thing will chop through woody plants like small trees one like just one go got a nice hard sheath with a little bit of retention and then the button snap and this right here can fit on that battle belt with this loop that it has uh i just didn't want to add any more weight to that belt Then in this pocket right now is normally where my multi-tool and stuff is, but it's in that pouch. Here is an arc lighter, waterproof, windproof. And then in this cargo pocket is where I keep some just quick access stuff for like small cuts or like decent cuts. If I just need to get something quick and don't want to, you know, mess with my IFAC, we've got the compressed gauze, which is... Like any, if you slit your hand or your finger open with a knife or doing something like that, these two things right here is all you need. You ain't got to freak out and just rip them open, apply pressure, and let your blood cell count catch up in time. So there you have it, guys. That is the updated belt kit and small pack loadout. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the update. Uh, if you're really curious and you want to compare the two, then I'm going to leave that other video up. It's not going anywhere. Um, and if you have any more continued suggestions, uh, feel free to throw them out there. Uh, cause like this is not meant to be the best kit possible, but this is a solid nine out of 10 for the things I intend to use it for and for my area at the moment. Make sure you keep an eye out for the overnighter that we're going to be doing. I might end up uploading a video or two between that, even though these two are going to be done and edited at the uh, same time. It depends on how the upload schedule and all that crap plays out. But we should have a good time since it's finally going to be kind of, you know, cooler tonight. As always, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Share the channel and videos with your friends, family, and anybody that enjoys good old outdoor activities. If you're interested in any of the gear, I will try to take and list and link to every single item that I can uh, down in the description box. So go take a gander down there. So until the next one, guys, adios.